it's that time guys gear dungeon one stage one got let's get after it Hey guys, I'm Apoc. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to go ahead and run through a guide on Gear Dungeon 1 today. We're going to start off this one. I'll end up knocking out the next couple here pretty soon, but we're going to start off on Gear Dungeon 1, right? Let's go ahead and jump into this here. This is the team I'm using. Yes, I have quite a few Legos. This is in-game content. There is a way to do it with um, a lot lower quality uh, heroes, but you got to have good gear and you got to work real hard. So I'm showing you the easier way to do this, right? little bit different heroes than what some of the uh, other content creators are using right now but still nonetheless a very effective team especially in your early game and as i place the heroes i'll let you know why i use them and things like that so let's go i'll run over the gear at the end of the video just so you guys got that <clears throat> all right so first since i'm using a veer in a strat she's going to be my main dps what i want to do right here is wait till i get to about 65 cost and then I'm gonna have to put them down fairly fast. We are in the first, because I want her to get the invig bonus from this guy here, and then my tank. I gotta do it fast. See, she got hit, but she survived, that's good. Usually, once you get into higher levels, anytime either her or him take a hit, they're dead. So you're gonna have to make sure and get them out before she sends that hit over, that way they hit the tank and you're fine, you're fine. So we're all good there, we'll go ahead and pop that let uh artemis go ahead and take care of them and now we can start working on the top now you see this little square right here you see how these our squares are lighter and the rest of these are darker these are the squares that you can put your your guys on the, on the bottom right obviously the green ones are available for platform units but it kind of lets you know where you need to go because you, this square right here needs to be covered uh on the front end anyway right so you can put them up here or right there right we'll do that Next, we'll go ahead and do this guy. Actually, no, we'll do the um, do the shield. There we go. And boom. Now we can put this guy right here. And see how he's got all the blocks right here in front, all three blocks in front. And this guy's only got two blocks in front, but one of the blocks currently. That way, in case one of the guys get behind him or, or whatever, um, you still got at least one DPS that's able to hit them. But the way we've got it set up right here is both these guys should be able to knock these guys out before it causes too much damage here. Got to keep an eye on the bottom here. And as they start getting close, Vierna takes them out. Not a problem. Now we're back up to the top. I'll go ahead and put Greed down here. And that should finish off this whole bottom end for me. All right. These guys are taking care of business up top. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent excellent with greed down here and uh with the captain they slow things down so much that uh Vierna just destroys everything and then you got him here artemis is the the backup dps slash healer you know slash rage regen right all right level one we're killing it very easily very easily all right so we're coming around for the round two of these psychopaths coming out <coughs> Look like Garen is handling business on the bottom fairly well. Acrodor. Doing outstanding. Now, the only reason I'm using Cor uh, Cor uh, Cordor or whatever is uh, the extra blocks he has. Yes, the extra blocks come in actually a bit handy the higher up in the, the stages you go. All right, look, he just continues to take the hit because they she what she does tries to do the, the big volka is she hits the last tank that was put down that that's her big goal there knocks it out 48 49 and 50 boom there we go guys that is the completion stage one now obviously a lot of you guys are probably knocking this out and it, it's not that you know stage one is that difficult it's it's learning the strategy when to place your heroes where to place your heroes and where the the bad guys are coming what time they're coming how how often they're coming things like that that's the information you need to be aware of so that you can apply your units effectively right once you figure out the strat on the first team uh, first level you should be able to use that same strat or almost the exact same strat all the way up to level five and six right so i let you guys uh, see the strat here's uh you know some of the damage profiles there 
uh, these two are the big the big ones here. I even got quite a bit of damage on um, on this guy here, but he's just not quite pumping it out. But I do use him for the anti heal, right? The anti healing ability is going to be really nice because when those psychopaths start hitting corridor, uh, corridor, corridor, um, they start healing, and so this guy helps uh, get rid of that. Gives you a few more seconds of damage without those guys really healing on you. All right, let's go back into it and i will go over the gear real quick now i just got her and i just slapped her in there so i'm really loving this new lord bonus uh obviously the, the first uh, earlier couple levels you don't have to use uh you know any gold uh lord bonuses or anything like that you could uh easily go down here and use you know i don't know who else we got i mean this little lady right here would be perfect this little lady right here perfect you know no real issue and if you have to use this guy i mean it is what it is uh, it's not the best but you know uh, uh, an extended range blast so i mean there there's there, there's benefits to using him too right so you, you got options man you don't have to use more but as you noticed uh no gear i didn't have any gear on her she was never placed all right now this is my big lady here i got a pretty good set on her all right i got her rocking a little over 18k on the attack uh speed is irrelevant i got her crit cap and 287 all right that's pretty good the 287 now i wanted to get a little bit higher attack um i was running it with like 14k attack and i was like at 300 crit damage uh but i wasn't quite uh, um getting the damage over time uh amount that i was wanting right uh so that that really helped me by increasing the attack so i like to keep it around 18k or more in order to be effective on even the later rounds. So that's why I have her geared as. I put the tier Twilight, max out on this little lady here. That's why she's so effective in this uh, in this round. All right, this little guy. Now, he's actually very effective if you load him up full of attack gear, but I really wanted to get an additional uh, attack bonus here for Vierna. So that's why I put him in this gear here, but I still put him in this stuff too. Look, two pieces gives you crit damage plus 40 and attack plus 10. These are these are fancy. These are fancy. The only set I have, <laughs> the only set I have in the whole game, but right here I have them on him, and they're, they're they're fairly decent sets. You know, fairly decent sets. You know, not not the best um, uh, mo most attack in the world. We're at twenty two, which is nice though. But you know, attack bonus eighteen. You know, could be better. But for the most part, I mean, look at this. It's pretty much garbage there. Pretty much garbage. I need better in big gear. That's just what it comes down to. But even with that being said, yeah, he still has an eighteen thousand. I mean, yeah, eighteen k attack. Which he's able to pump some things out he's got his attack speed at 390 and a little over 200k on the uh crit damage now the crit rate cap i don't need this because once the ultimate pops he goes up by 50 percent and i'm automatically crit rate uh crit cap so that's part of the a1 yeah <laughs> so got him there he's my healer he's pumping strong and i have him in the um scarab almost max but getting close this little guy here right we have him at only 13k attack just because i'm running out of gear uh effective gear basically crit caps about 500 uh, attack speed which is really nice for the dot and then you got the um uh, crit damage to 337 so his ultimate pops off pretty good but that attack if i could get that a bit higher i'd be happier i got his uh, uh special on there his uh i'm sorry his exclusive on here it says when attacking targets inflicted with three stacks of sand erosion restores 1.5 percent rage and increases damage by 20 per, uh, percent for three and a half seconds that could be very effective on this range i mean on these levels that's why i'm using this one versus you know something else that that may be a bit higher you know something like that all right captain reeve i just got my olog gear on this guy that's it just no attack really look no attack and it's stupid he got 120,000 hp stupid amount of hp but uh that's that's all he's there for he's just there tank 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 i ain't got i ain't got nothing special on him just he's just tanking away all right um this little lady here you don't have to have any gear on her i i, I don't normally use her it doesn't matter she could be naked this guy i put the gear that i had on my broke here so basically just hp 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 i got him up to 122 hp total which is pretty good pretty good but that makes him very effective tank right very effective tank and then of course you put the good tank piece on him as well let's see greed you don't need nothing on greed you just i put my serene gear this is what i'm looking for on greed right here 
he doesn't do a lot of damage but what he does do is he does the slow the slow it slows everybody down so my Vierna can handle business all right that's the main point so i got him speed pretty high i got uh rage regen pretty high and then um i've got this little thing on him well uh max it out if you can obviously you get, get a little bit better but that's that's what i'm running on my greed very effective and last but not least we'll use this little guy here just over sixteen thousand attack which is actually pretty good for him pretty good of course if you can get 18 or 20 it'd be better but i think 16 is very effective for this guy and then you got him at 365 attack speed crit caps and a 367 uh crit damage i mean uh with a 42 percent rage regen i didn't realize that that's even that's pretty good it's pretty good um so that really helps out uh take out a lot of the damage in uh the area right especially uh when you put a good artifact we're maxed i've only got two people with max artifacts on this whole whole thing it's him and uh Vierna, right everybody else is 22 20 19 ish you know stuff like that so not the best gear in the world not the best artifacts in the world but you can still knock it out right this is the overall strategy and this is how you guys knock it out so if you guys like the video if you guys like the strat or if you changed up something make sure to give me a like subscribe and leave a comment in the video let me know your feedback until next time apoc out if you enjoyed that video guys check out my channel here or my latest video here until next time apoc out